I'm not sure at the moment that's the best option. I think I would just... Pro Boxing fans, we're here in Sheffield. Adam Smith, GBM, produces once again. What a show that was. And what a highlight, knockout and performance by the main man, Shaquille Thompson. Just give me your thoughts on his find his win against uh, River Wilson Brent. Yeah, best win of his uh, career, Shaquille Thompson. And uh, there's no secret anymore. He's performing under the lights. Um, I've always liked him. I think he is uh, not only a great guy out of the ring, but he's got so much in the ring uh, to admire. He's got long levers, he's got power, he's got intelligence, he's going to be very, very difficult to fight and he was uh, brilliant tonight. He was um, punch perfect, I thought he was terrific and uh, just took, took, took River, he's just behind us here and he, um, yeah, he took, he took River um, apart and uh, he did it in a, in a very controlled way, even as quick as he did. I thought he was absolutely brilliant. Yo, man, yo. I'm going to let you go, let's, yeah? Let's yeah. give him yeah. 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 right? Thank you so much. Shaq, just quickly, whilst you're walking through, just tell me, just talk to me about that performance, man. That was uh, destructive. I did what I said I was going to do. I was going to go in there and I was going to destroy his soul and that's what I did. Um, clinical performance, got the knockout onto the next ones. Any middleweight in the country that wants it, let's go and get it. Just a call away, let's go. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, there we go, uh, just call me is a, is a message. I think he's ready to conquer. Is that is that the way you guys at GBM see it or is it a progression stage like you do with any fighter? I don't know how much progression we need. I mean, I think he's ready domestically for, for most of the other middleweights. He wants a British title, I think, and uh, his ambition is to become world champion. He's been boxing since he was eight or nine. Um, He's a really good fighter and uh, he looks up to Kelbrook and I know Kelbrook thinks he can become the next star in Sheffield and um, fantastic to have Johnny here tonight as well and so many other uh, names. It's been a brilliant night and uh, Shaquille Thompson put the icing on the cake of a, a, a fantastic event and you know Ryan Walsh's incredible knockout. Um, people were riding him off at 38, but he showed he has the legs, the speed. It was great to see. And, um, yeah, Tyson Gallagher's win. Huey Fury in a tough, hard fight. Uh, Maxi Hughes in a tough, hard fight. It was a great night. Really good night. I think uh, from the reviews that we got from everyone, uh, fantastic night. Even Eddie, who I interviewed Eddie and Izzy together, and look, he said, this is a small hole show. This is much more than what people think it is. Um, before I do let you go, I want to quickly talk about Anthony Joshua and just a few things, one, two things before I let you go. He's finally released a statement on social media saying, listen, he's going to carry on. Barry McGuigan's had a few, has a written article and he's got, he's, he said he's got four options. He's got Wilder, um, Dubois, Fury or retirement. In your eyes, which option out of them do you believe that? Eddie, I'm not Eddie, um, Anthony Joshua, if, if it was up to him, uh, you know, I know he wants to carry on, but which option do you reckon would be the best for him? I think, first of all, it's Anthony's decision and his team. Um, I think he needs a rest. I think he needs just to take stock of the situation. Uh, we've got a huge heavyweight title fight before Christmas. Um, let's see what happens with Usyk and Fury. And um, he'll want to go back in with Daniel Dubois because of his pride. And he's gone in back in with Andy Ruiz and, and Alexander Usyk. He'll want to go back in with Daniel. Um, I'm not sure at the moment that's the best option. I think I would just wait. Um, Tyson Fury is still a huge fight, probably the biggest fight in boxing and maybe that's the one he goes into in the spring. But uh, um, I don't know. I think it's um, wait and see for a bit. Um, John T. Wilder, do we want to see him back in the ring after his last couple of performances? Um, again, it's not up to me to tell a fighter to retire, but I don't want to see fighters go on too long. And uh, I think the era of Wilder, uh, Joshua and Fury is, you know, is, is closing. Um, you know, Tyson's still got a big fight ahead of him. And, but I think you're, you're thinking they've, they've got a year or a year and a half at best, that, that group, before the next, uh, the next crop come through. Daniel's 27. Um, you know, we know that... There's Joe Parker, Gilles Zhang, Martin Bacoli, Moses Atalma. I was going to say, is it, is it a big enough crop though coming through, do you see? Oh, well, I think, look, it's boxing. Boxing's in a great place. And um, while the sun is shining, we, we, we want to get as many great fights as possible. Um, and I think Turkey Al Sheik is putting on that. So let's see what happens. There's a lot of heavyweight options. And um, I think Joshua will definitely want to carry on. And, uh, and I obviously don't want to see. A, a, you know, a, 
a dismantling, which it was by Daniel Dubois, happen again to AJ. If it happens again, then you know that's I'm sure that will be it. But it's up to him and and how much he wants to carry on. I think he felt so good before the fight. I think that's the sort of if he, if he was feeling not great, it's like Ryan Walsh tonight said he felt so amazing, but he didn't know whether he'd, he'd have it in the ring. Only when you get in the ring do you know. And, and he had it. And I think AJ felt so great in training, and and it didn't work out at all in the ring. He'll want another crack, and he could maybe he could beat Dubois next time. We don't know yet. So that's an option. They're all options, but I would wait, and I think Tyson Fury, uh, Usyk fight, and uh, let's see what happens in the spring. But Joshua will be back. I've no doubt about that. Adam Smith, I'm getting a tap on my shoulder, which means we've got to wrap this up. Thank you very much, mate. Amazon is. So, man, thank you.